So, leg four of the Per Temps Handicap Hurdle. Next then, qualify the final to be held at Cheltenham, of course, at the festival. The top one is eight to the conclusion, Joshua Sutherland, the cone. David Robertson, Paddy's return, Ghost Zapper, Wonderful and Young Life, Graham Clitterbuck, Watchdog, Kevin Meenahan, Mayday's Darren Thompson, Dresden Dynamo, Carla Agante, Opera of Moliette, Surfer, Tomorrow's World, Daniel French, Nickel Coin, Darren House, Sea Devil, Graham Clitterbuck, Four Richard, Darren House, Half Supreme, Derek Hinton, Quack, Kevin Meenahan, Radio Missile, Alex Cherry and Trabago, James Follis, so 16 of the men, magic number for the handicap, and away they go towards the first flight of hurdles in this extended three mile race and they've got 14 to take and they all skip over the first one nicely with Mayday days just a little bit slow at the back and Paddy's return looks like he's going to settle down into the lead so Paddy's return then being harassed by Half Supreme on the inside as they take the second and they all skip over that one nicely looks like Half Supreme on the inside has got ideas about leading as well so half supreme and paddy's return are going to take it on between them with four richer just being driven up behind them in third and on the inside is eight's the conclusion with wonderful and young life on that one's outside and watchdog wider still the one that's really wide on the track is the gray nickel coin but paddy's return appears to be winning the battle to lead at this stage so race down towards the third flight the lead is about a length with half supreme second and four richer third Gap then to the remainder are headed by a watchdog. Opera Love is also close up trying to give Molly at Surfer a quick double here at Warwick on this three race card. And Paddy's return is the leader as they begin to swing left handed. See the third flight in the distance, still some way off. Paddy's return is now opened up by three to four. Richard in second, half supreme is third. Then Watchdog, the cones after that one, then Trabago and Opera Love is next. Sea Devil is now pretty wide on the track as Nickel Coin has dropped towards the back with Mere Days. The good point for Nickel Coin is that it's got to the inside though. As they finally make it to the third and they all skip over that one nicely. With Paddy's return, a clear leader by three lengths to four. Richard has now gone second. Half Supreme being pushed along in third as they take the fourth. All over that one okay as well. With Nickel Coin and Mere Days still towards the back of the field and Paddy's return set at a sensible pace comes down to the fifth and skips over that one mistake by the Moliette server horse there Opera Lover seeing that one shuffled down the pack a little bit has only got about three or four behind him now Paddy's return continues to lead as they swing left handed now towards the home straight for the first time and Paddy's return is a leader by three to four Richard in second half supreme third and Dresden Dynamo has made some good ground up in a fifth just behind the cone. The radio missile also getting closer as they take the sixth. Let's get over that one nicely again with Nickel Coin still just the back marker. And Paddy's return. Clearing the lead as they take what will be the last on the next circuit. With Paddy's return leading by a length then. It's uphill climb to the finishing line here at Warwick and they'll swing out left handed now for a complete circuit off the track you won't quite see the castle because that's a little bit to the right but it's Paddy's return in the lead from four Richard in second half Supreme is third the cone is four then Dresden Dynamo is five and then Radio Missile six and Watchdog seven and then Tomorrow's World and Trabago then Wonderful and Young Life and Mayday's Days eights the conclusions after that one then Sea Devil Opera Love Quack and finally Nickel Coin the lighter of the two greys is the back marker as they finally get to the eighth and they skip over that one with Paddy's return continuing to show the way back home uphill towards the next one then with four Richard chasing in second over that one they go nickel coins giving up the ghost at the back and has been pulled up but it's Paddy's return that continues to show the way to half supreme and four Richard in comes the cone the one being pulled up at the back there is wonderful in young life so Starting to find some of these out now. This stiff testing track at Warwick and Paddy's return is the leader. Four richer and half supreme. These three being chased by Dresden Dynamo and the Cone. Radio Missile has gone wide on the track. Quack is now the back marker. They've got just a little over a mile still to race. Obscured from the stands at this point and Paddy's return is the leader. From four richer in second, then half supreme is third and watchdog is four and then Dresden Dynamo Radio Missile. Then comes eight to the conclusion and the cone as they now begin to swing left handed. Paddy's return 
yet to be headed really. The Car Supreme might have got the lead for a couple of strides in the first furlong or two. But now for Richer. Looks the strong challenger on the outside and possibly just pokes his head in front. The second of the Grand Plutterbuck horses has now been pulled up. That Sea Devil, so not a particularly successful race for Grey this one. And all Greys, in fact, has Nickel Corn has been pulled up as well. So four Richard then takes the tenth in the lead, jumps it well. Here comes Half Supreme and Dresden Dynamo. Suddenly Paddy's return is throwing out distress signals, but there's only about eight lengths first to last now then as they take the eleventh. And over that one it was Dresden Dynamo that took the lead. Dresden Dynamo's in the lead. Here comes Trabago getting the first mention on the outside, coming through with a run. Also four Richard is still there. So is Half Supreme. They've got three more fences, three more flights of hurdles to take. This is the third last. Over it they go, and Paddy's return up been given a breather is now back in the mix again it's Paddy's return and Dresden Dynamo from Quack who's come through from the back swinging around the outside now tomorrow's world is trying to get into it as well but it's Paddy's return back in the lead again be impressed by Dresden Dynamo these two are four lengths clear of eights the conclusion and Quack and what happened there Dresden Dynamo's in the lead then now from Paddy's return in second eights the conclusion is third Opera Love's trying to run in fourth then comes tomorrow's world they're at the second last they're in the straight over it they go and Dresden Dynamo gets away from it well, what's Paddy's return got left? Eight's the conclusion. Has got a big weight, but he's trying to reel the leaders in. It's Dresden Dynamo at the final flight. Over it goes Dresden Dynamo. And the stay by Paddy's return. It's Dresden Dynamo up the hill towards the line. Dresden Dynamo looks like he's going to take the per tent. It's Dresden Dynamo in the lead. Eight's conclusion is back in second. Then Paddy's return. Opera Love and Watch Club running on, but up towards the line. This is a win for Dresden Dynamo. Dresden Dynamo takes it. Eight's the conclusion. Second. Paddy's return. Third. Opera Love's four. Then tomorrow's world was fifth. I think Mayor Days may have been the last one to finish, but it's a win for Carl Aragante's Dresden Dynamo, who takes it with thanks the conclusion for Joshua Sutherland, giving lumps of weight away in second. Third was the long-time leader, Paddy's return for Ghost Zapper. Opera Love for Molly at Surfer was fourth, and Tomorrow's World for Daniel French was fifth.